Hey, 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 it's game day. We're going to an LU men's basketball game. I'm going to take you in, show you the arena, walk around, take a look at some of the seating. Hopefully, we're going to get a chance to look at some plays like this. We're going to give you some information. This is just one of the many things to do around Lynchburg, BA and Liberty University. And we're going to get after it right now. Let's go. If you've seen any other videos that I've done, you know it's me, J.D. Miller. I work with that little international real estate company called EXP Realty, and I like to do videos on what it's like to live, work, and play in Lynchburg, VA. And this is about playing in Lynchburg, VA. It's about enjoying getting out and doing something in the Lynchburg area. And the thing we're going to do is hit a basketball game at the arena. So we're going to get into that right now. I'm just going to throw the number up really quick. If you want to get in contact with me, go ahead, give me a call, send me a text, shoot me an email. You can pause the screen, rewind, play, fast forward, backwards, frontwards, whatever, get the number. And we're going to move on to the arena right now. All right, so we start off on the top of the Runk and Pratt parking garage. And you can see as you look across there, that is... The big circle is the old Vine Center, and then that little half dome, I don't know if you really can see it, the little half circle part, that's the east entrance to the new Liberty Arena. I wanted to park as far away as I thought I could, so I came up to the ninth floor of the Runkin Pratt parking garage. This is across 460, and we're going to walk through the tunnel underneath. When we walk onto the elevator here, well, there you go. There's the vines. There's the Liberty Arena. You can see right next to it to the right. When we get on the elevator, here is an important point. You want to press tunnel when you get inside. Zero. Yes. Not one. So you get inside the elevator. Not one. Not that. But that. If you press one, you're going to come out on ground level, really, and you're going to be walking on um, the east side of campus, east campus. And we want to get down to zero. We want to go to the tunnel so we can walk straight across the underneath 460 and get over to the arena. This is game day. It's the first game of the season. I'm going to show you here in daylight. I just wanted to show you the walk and then we're going to come back later. We're going to drive in and show you a little bit of the traffic. But here's we come out on level zero and we walk right across through the tunnel. Now you're gonna be able to see the pace I'm walking. I'm not gonna speed this up. I just wanna show it to you, take some time. We'll talk about the arena as we take this short walk. This walk is about seven minutes. So from the top of the parking garage, if that's where you need to park, from the top of the garage all the way across to the arena, it's a brief seven minute walk. Really, I parked in the Speakman lot close to the business center and that also is about a seven minute walk. So they're, they're relatively close, no matter where you park. It's not that bad of a walk. I'm gonna show you here a uh, parking diagram also. And you'll see that in the DeMoss parking lot, that's where they have ADA parking. You can, um, if you have a hang tag, you can get in there and park at DeMoss. That's pretty close. Of course, you can drop people off at the front, um, but no matter where you park, you're relatively close and you can get there and get inside to enjoy the game. So we are walking across now, getting out to the end of the tunnel. Okay, so here at the end of the tunnel, they have the big graphic up with the schedule. You can take a look at the schedule there. And you come out of this tunnel, you're on campus, and you're just a short walk here right over to the arena. There you can see the Vine Center. That Vine Center opened in 1990. The Vine Center is where they used to play men's and women's basketball and volleyball. They still have Convo in there. But the Vine Center holds 9,500 plus people. It's really too big for basketball right now. I mean, there's, I mean, maybe for a playoff game, you could pack it. Occasionally it was full, but the new arena is beautiful. And the new arena holds 4,000 people. That's the capacity of the new one. So you gotta get your tickets if you wanna go see a game. Single game tickets are still available, I do believe, and they're $22 or $15 a piece. 
we got season tickets because we love basketball and we love to go watch the flames one of the great organizations associated with liberty university is men's basketball and coach richie mckay can't say enough good things about coach mckay quality quality guy so you can still get tickets 4,000 capacity inside the arena. It opened in 2020 and we were there in 2020, but we didn't have season tickets because of the COVID situation. They were only selling single game tickets and you had to get them sporadically at a different seating setup. Now, if you know Ward's Road, this is Ward's Road. Lovely, lovely, busy during game times when students are here, everyone's in school and it's game night for any kind of athletic event it can get kind of busy and we did our little pre-game meal at five guys and then we headed out here on wards road of course chick-fil-a there you can see chick-fil-a is always busy so i just want to give you an idea of what it's like you do have to be patient you have to plan what you're doing and take your time to get to the game all right we're going to show you now turning right up off of wards road through the tunnel Tunnels everywhere, tunnels everywhere. So we're gonna go through the tunnel and we're gonna head up to our parking space, which is near DeMoss. But if you would take that right lane right there, that will loop you around. And first of all, you'll hit the academic parking garage. So you could park there, or you can loop all the way around campus that way. And you can get to Runkin Pratt going over a bridge 460. It's not a, not a hard drive, not a long drive. You just have to be patient again because it gets busy on campus. Now we're walking down here to the east entrance. And this is the entrance that is open to the public. If you're a student at Liberty and you're coming to the game, you're gonna use the backside entrance, the west entrance. But you can use that, the backside entrance as a public also. We have our tickets here, a little um, Q code. QR code, a little QR code on the phone, and they have the mag detectors up that we're gonna walk through. So not a big deal, just take stuff out of your pockets. There is a clear bag policy if you're bringing a bag. My wife does have a clear bag. I have my keys and my wallet and such. So they tell you, just go ahead and walk through the detector, put your hands up like that. Uh, I believe the lights go off depending on where you're buzzed at. So. If you uh, see red, different areas on the body, they know where the where the metal's at. So then we just come on inside and we're gonna get our ticket scanned and we're gonna head in. Give you a quick glance at the floor and we're gonna walk around the outside of the arena here and give you a better view of different spots throughout of the concourse, concession stands, things like that. But I just wanted to give you a quick view here. Now we're gonna head into the club area where I wasn't supposed to be. And to be quite honest with you, this is our first year getting the season tickets. So I wasn't sure what level we purchased. I knew where we were sitting, but I didn't know if we had access to this club area or not. So if you're part of the Flames Club, if you're a member of the Flames Club, then you can purchase uh, season tickets early and at some discounted rates but to get into this club area you have to be a member of the flames club at a certain level i think it's director's level or above we did get in here last year when they were just selling tickets sporadically they didn't have season tickets we sat in here a couple times it's really nice they have this area where you can spread out they have tvs up there they have your own bathroom only for the club members here and your own concession stand you see people there in line your own concession stand for the club members. So inside the club area, you have to have a special tickets to get in here. We didn't have them, so we walked up, walked out, and uh, got a chance at least to show you around and see what it looks like inside this area. All right, we're walking down to find our seats. And man where are they down a little bit further a little bit further right there is the liberty team bench that we are sitting behind a liberty team bench and right here are some gentlemen that i'm gonna kick out of our seats man come on what you doing you're in my seat my wife was like why would they do that well you know people do that they buy tickets they slide down if someone doesn't show up they sit there a little bit closer to the floor but 
we got in here, got our seats all squared away, and got ready to watch this game. Now, I should say, this game is against region. What, what schools do is they often bring in some lower-level teams, nothing against region, just saying they're not the same level. So David, my son, coaches at Randolph. Randolph will do the same thing. They are Division Three. They went to Elon, played uh, Division One school at Elon. So the bigger schools will pay smaller schools to come in. The smaller schools get money and they get experience. They get to work on them. They get to work on some things. Get to work on their game against bigger, faster, generally better athletes. So it benefits the smaller school in a few ways. And then normally the bigger school gets some practice themselves. They get to work out some things and they get a W. They're kind of guaranteed a win. Doesn't always happen, but that's the way it's supposed to happen. So here's a little uh, pregame. Center and you've gotten the chance to come to the arena it's just a much more intimate atmosphere it's a much better atmosphere for basketball I loved it it's great we look forward to it again we were there last year but last year because of COVID they were so sparse they had limited seating everyone was spread out it wasn't nearly as loud it wasn't nearly as fun they had seats pushed back so that they weren't down so far and so close to the court, so they had things pushed back. So this is a much better uh, layout and a lot more fun. We're getting ready for the tip-off here. Getting ready to tip off the 21-22 season. My favorite time. I like going to watch a lot of sports, but basketball is my favorite. Oh, we got some action to get in front of us, but we still see the tip. There it is. The tip off to the 21 22 basketball season. We're going to let you look at some action here and you can see what the view of the court is from different spots. This is a great place to watch games. I know I keep saying it, but I love it. It's really nice. Comfortable seats. All the seats have cushioning on them. Now, the row that I'm in is the last row that has like really thick cushioning. The row right behind me, the cushioning is a little thinner, but none of the seats are just a hard, straight plastic. They all have cushioning. They're all uh, pretty comfortable. But this is different here. You see the team going off, it's halftime. So Liberty runs off into that corner. Regents going off into the other corner. At the Vine Center, we had a little issue because the Vine Center only had one hallway. Everyone would run through the same hallway. So when teams are a little competitive, sometimes, you know, the juices are flowing and it's been a little aggressive, maybe a little ticky-tacky out there. When teams go through the same huddle, you can have issues. So it's awesome that they have this separate setup, Se separate sides, teams go through separate sides. All right, so we're back here, second half, and I'm just gonna walk around the concourse, give you a view of the concourse, the concession stand, talk about that a little bit, the bathrooms. When you're not in the club area, you have three bathrooms on three separate corners. We have three concession stands, and then there's a little team store across there, close to where that flag is, the American flag. Then you have these ADA accessible seating areas where if you're on a scooter or a wheelchair, you can roll up here right at the railing and still have a pretty nice view of the game. I made my way over to the concession stand, pick up some water for my wife. Now the prices here, pretty comparable to what you're gonna see in different arenas when you're captive and you can't bring outside food in. A hamburger, a cheeseburger I should say is $5.50. A plain hot dog is $3. Chicken tenders are $6. Drinks, bottled water is $3. Bottled soda is $3.50. Your cost is high for food. Food's not bad. I wouldn't say it's great, but it is not bad. 
And uh, we were down at Elon, went to go see Randolph play them, and the cost down there was pretty comparable as well. So just taking a look again from the floor, at the floor, from the concourse, I mean, really, even up here at the highest point on the concourse, really great seats, great seating, uh, great views. You can't really go wrong here at the arena as far as a view. And even, again, when you're standing, even if you're standing in concession stand, um, you're a little bit pushed back because the concourse is so wide, but uh, you don't miss much of the action. And they have the big screens up here that you can take a look at as well. Okay, we continue our walk around the concourse straight across there. You can see into the club area up top behind all the seating. And then we're gonna walk around. This is the west entrance over here where the students come in and all these people you see in the green shirts, those are security. Rhino Security provides security for Liberty University. They do have a police officer or two at all these events, but then they supplement that with a private security company. Here is my least favorite view in the arena. Right here along the baseline, even way up top is worse because you're looking down through the basket. Uh, but if you're down close to the floor, baseline is not that bad. But I don't like this view. A lot of the action takes part behind the backboard there. Not my favorite look. Nice little alley-oop there, but not my favorite look and view. If I could avoid any ticket, that would be the ticket I would try to avoid. Sitting way up high on the baseline. And we have our big LU right there inside the west entrance where the students come in. Just one of the many great events that you can go to at LU. We enjoy going to Randolph games also. We're going to try to hit one of those games sometime as well. We do like to support the Flames athletic teams. We just got back from a nice little two-day road trip up to Michigan to cheer on the Liberty Flames field hockey team who were in the national championship. Unfortunately, they did not win, but it was a great season for them. Great season. You know, here's one thing you're going to see a lot of if you go to Flames games, hopefully. Three-point shots. we got some shooters on the team. They're fun to watch. It's nice when they're going down. It's a little rough when they're not going down. But there he is, Darius McGee, all-star, all-American, all-universe, all-something. And uh, he is he's fun to watch himself. But it's a good, good environment here if you want to come out to a Liberty event. Uh, men's basketball, women's basketball, anything, volleyball when they're playing volleyball, anything in the arena here is a really nice uh, thing to see, nice place to go. This is a great place to visit. And uh, here we got a freshman. We're going to get a little freshman action. Van, Z Van Zant. He's going to step back out and hit one. Van Zant is going to be a player too. He can shoot, he can drive, he can jump. He's going to be good. So here we finish it up with the alley-oop to who? Van Zant. All right. So there you have it. It's a nice, quick trip to Liberty Arena for a men's basketball game. Man, I love basketball. Big basketball fan. Big coach Richie McKay fan. And if you live in the Lynchburg area, even close by, this is one of the things that you might want to do. Come check out an athletic event at Liberty University or at Randolph or at the University of Lynchburg or the Virginia University of Lynchburg. You can check out, support any of these teams. You're not that far from University of Virginia, Charlottesville. You're not that far from Farmville and Longwood University. So you have things to do, but the arena is a place to hit. And of course, if you want to get in contact with me, then go ahead, give me a call, send me an email. I would love to connect with you. Until next time, when we talk about places to live, work, and play, and what it's like to do all that in Lynchburg, VA, I appreciate you watching. Take care. Love where you live, wherever that is, and we'll see you next time.